It is almost time. Sunny and Gizmo, Jackie and Shadow's two eaglets, are about to take the biggest risk of their lives, their very first flight. But while we all wait for the moment they take that leap, there is a much bigger question at hand. What happens next? Because for young bald eagles, learning to fly is just the start of a much greater story. When people think of fledging, they usually think of this big, heroic moment. Wings out, the wind catching just right, and a graceful launch into the sky. And sometimes it is like that, but most of the time, it's not. Fledging is awkward, it's wobbly, it's full of last minute hesitations, missed landings, and whoa, 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 I did not plan for this kind of energy. It's not uncommon for a young eagle's first flight to end up in a bush, or the ground, or in a very confused squirrel's tree. But that's all part of the process. So Sunny and Gizmo probably won't go from sitting to soaring in just one day. They'll take short flights. 10, maybe 20 feet at first, between nearby branches. They'll misjudge distances, overshoot landings, maybe even crash. And that's all completely normal. Because flying isn't just instinct, it's practice. They have spent weeks flapping in the nest, building up their wing strength. But they've never done this before, so this is really just the very beginning of flight school. Over time, Sunny and Gizmo will get more comfortable with flying. They'll take flight, they'll flap, glide, and maybe even stick a landing or two. But you know what they won't do right away? Hunt. Flying is one thing, but catching your own dinner? That's an entirely different skill, and one they will still need lots of time to learn. The next stage is called the post-fledging dependency period, and it usually lasts somewhere between 4 to 12 weeks. During that time, Sunny and Gizmo will still rely on Jackie and Shadow to bring them food. Which honestly is kind of sweet, because I definitely thought fledging would be something like, okay, bye, good luck out there, bud, you'll figure it out. But it's nice to know that there's a bit more of a gentle transition into the wild. In fact, Sunny and Gizmo will still be coming back to the nest. In the first few weeks after fledging, the two will continue to stick around in or near the nest, especially at night. They'll rest there between flights, beg for food, and return to the familiar place where they grew up. Jackie and Shadow will continue to provide food during this time, sometimes bringing it directly to the nest, and other times bringing it to a nearby branch that the eaglets then have to fly over to. But that won't last forever. As Sunny and Gizmo grow stronger and more independent, they'll begin roosting in new spots, flying farther away from the nest, and spending less and less time in the immediate area. And eventually, they'll stop coming back at all. But I'm getting ahead of myself, because these birds still need to learn how to hunt. Here's something that's really fascinating. The eaglets will learn how to hunt by watching their parents do it. Eagles don't teach the way humans do. There are no step-by-step -step guides or how-to YouTube videos, but that doesn't mean there isn't learning happening. Now, I do briefly want to cut in here really quick and say that nobody can predict the future. All of this, while it is based off of research on eagle behavior, is all just speculation. I'm not claiming to be an expert, I just like eagles and I did a whole lot of reading. So if Sunny and Gizmo follow the typical eagle track, this will probably be something like what their future looks like. But again, we can't know for sure. Also, I do want to take a second to give a quick shout out to Friends of Big Bear Valley, because all of the B-roll footage that you see of Jackie Shadow and their family are coming from their live eagle cam, which if you haven't seen it yet, I will definitely link it in the description down below. Anyway, back to the story. Sunny and Gizmo will follow their parents as they soar over the water. They'll watch them spot prey, adjust in mid-air, and make those sharp, decisive grabs. The two will engage in activities that are playful, chasing each other, grabbing at sticks, or swooping at leaves. But these actions are essential practice, because such behaviors help them hone in their flight control and coordination, which are crucial for successful hunting. And at first, they'll miss… a lot. This stage is filled with challenges, learning opportunities, and a whole lot of, okay, I'll get it next time. 
Each attempt, whether successful or not, brings them closer to self-sufficiency. And while the path to independence is demanding, Jackie and Shadow's continued support will ensure that Sunny and Gizmo are well equipped to tackle the challenges ahead. Because as we'll find out, the hardest part is yet to come. Eventually, Jackie and Shadow will stop responding to every call. They'll bring food less often and only to farther purchase and Sunny and Gizmo will keep testing their wings. They'll start roosting in unfamiliar trees, flying beyond the territory they once knew. And one day, they simply won't return. There won't be a dramatic goodbye, no final look back, just a quiet step into independence. And the world outside the nest? Well, it's not gentle. The first year of a bald eagle's life is the hardest of all. Nearly half of newly fledged eaglets don't make it. They'll face starvation, harsh weather, predators, and dangerous obstacles like power lines, vehicles, or even other humans. They'll compete with other raptors for territory, and they'll have to learn, quickly, how to find food in unfamiliar places. But right here is where Sunny and Gizmo just might have an edge, because not every eaglet is raised by Jackie and Shadow. These two have given them everything. A safe, secure nest, consistent food to grow strong, protection from predators, and guidance. Subtle, instinctive, but constant. That kind of start, it matters. Eagles raised in stable nests with experienced parents are far more likely to survive their first year because they're stronger, sharper, and better prepared. So yes, the wild will be brutal, but Sunny and Gizmo definitely will not be going into it empty talent. They'll carry everything that Jackie and Shadow taught them, from their birth to the day they decide to leave the area forever. And that just might be enough. From here, the rest is instinct. Sunny and Gizmo will roam. They'll leave the nest site behind and begin to wander. Juvenile eagles have been tracked traveling hundreds of miles, crossing state lines and ecosystems. They'll follow rivers, coastlines, and migration routes, chasing fish, chasing air currents, and most importantly, chasing their freedom. And here, they'll most likely be alone. It's at this point that the eaglets will probably go their separate ways, off to write their very own stories. They'll face storms, competition, maybe even days without food, and moments where it feels like everything is against them. But even though they might physically be alone, they aren't truly alone. Because Jackie and Shadow have given them the very best start any eagle could ask for. And that matters more than we'll fully ever even know. So where will Sunny and Gizmo go after this? Well, we probably won't know, not unless they're tagged or tracked. But wherever they end up, whether that's the mountains, a river, or even a coastline that they find, one thing is for sure, they will carry a part of Big Bear Valley with them. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really liked it, I have a whole bunch of videos on Jackie, Shadow, and Eagles, so you can check that out at this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.